You know, just because I'm rich and hot and white doesn't mean that I'm some kind of a monster. I care about civil rights, women's rights, transgender rights even. I'm not the fucking enemy. I know that, okay? And me too. I care about me too. I stopped watching Louis C.K. because of that. That was hard for me. I, I love Louis. <laughs> There was another murder last night in New York City. It was, a, it was a white dude, right? Yeah, all the victims have been straight white men. I think it's all fake. The pound cake killer, the victims. Who is faking it? How? I think it's the corporate media. It is all owned by white men. And now, all of a sudden, there's the serial killer who's specifically targeting straight white men. It is designed to make us stop thinking of these people as the oppressors. And now we feel sympathy for them. But that's because just the thing. No one feels sympathy for them. No one cares. <laughs> this is awesome, big joke. <laughs> As a member of the straight white man community, <laughs> It can be pretty hard sometimes. Look what you did to my people. That wasn't me. Can I help you with something? We need more positivity right now. Absolutely. I mean, all the hate that's coming in from all around us, it's whack. I just don't want to be inappropriate. Why? Wow. Comedy is rooted in inappropriate. Yeah. That's the point. I'm pretty sure you were at my birthday party that one time. No, I remember your dad made a really racist comment about Pearl Harbor. We can't have you going face to face with our clients. Not with that face. For epochs, they've been sailing the seas in their yachts. Looking down on all of us, but we must now torpedo their ships and bring them down!